Kevin Trum, I'm the administrator of Lebanon County Mental Health and Intellectual <coughs> Disabilities Early Intervention Program. And uh, uh, we have with us today a number of the members of the Lebanon County Suicide Prevention Task Force, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Good morning. I'm Holly Leahy, Director of Mental Health Services at Lebanon County MHITEI. Good morning. My, my name is Mike Ritter. I'm the Public Education Coordinator with Domestic Violence Intervention of Lebanon County. Good morning. I'm Brooke Smith. I'm the Director of Community Impact with the United Way of Lebanon County. Alyssa Cockle, Community Relations with the Meadows Psychiatric Admission. I'm Monica Boyer. I'm Consultation Education Coordinator with Lebanon County MHID. Thank you. This is only a portion of the task force. It's a very large group of people from uh, various uh, backgrounds who have joined together as a group to try and have a, a positive impact on, uh, on uh, the suicide issue here in Lebanon County. Um, we've uh, worked for a number of years to, uh, to try and uh, make a difference here. Um, when we looked at suicide rates and the increasing suicide rates not only in Lebanon County, but in uh, across the state and across the nation. Uh, it's becoming very alarming. Uh, and uh, back in 2013, we had, uh, we had peaked in terms of the number of suicides. Um, in, uh, in 2012, we had 15, and in 2013, that number uh, jumped to 26, uh, which was very alarming. Um, so this group has been working for several years to try and impact that, and uh, we believe the group is having a positive effect in our community. Uh, after the, the peak of 26 suicides in 2013, the following year in 2014, we had 20 suicides, and uh, last year in 2015, that number was down to 13, which was half of what it was uh, two years earlier. Um, although it's, it's never uh, fully known as to why the rates go up and down. We believe that the efforts of this group have had an impact. Uh, everybody's working together and working hard uh, to make a difference. This group is responsible for a number of initiatives in the county, and uh, Holly will give you a brief summary of uh, the things that are going on, not only during Suicide uh, Prevention Awareness Month, but throughout the year. Well, I must say that it's really uh, my pleasure to work with the, the task force on the issue of suicide prevention. We have an amazing group of individuals who um, are hard workers and really invested in prevention of suicide within our community. Um, so we work actively all year long. Over the past year, we've had um, numerous projects that we have accomplished um, through a partnership with Perform Care, which is our managed care organization. We developed several different projects and accomplished those. The first was to develop a, a logo for the task force to actually kind of identify who we are. So even though we've been in existence for almost 11 years now, we never really had a, a logo that was unique to our task force and identified us as a, a team of individuals. So through that partnership, we not only created the logo, but then we were able to update our resource cards so our resource cards have our new logo, but then also we have a new website, which is great. That's a partnership with the Community Health Council of Lebanon County as well. And through that, we were able to update that website and put a lot of really useful information on that. The Phil Haven Marketing Department is also helping us with that website to further develop um, not only the appearance, but the content of that website. So these are new, and we would like to get those out into the community, so I'll, uh, I'll kind of pass those around and you can take um, what may be beneficial to you. Also through that partnership with Perform Care, again, we were able to send two individuals to training to become instructors for Lebanon County. That training is on QPR, which is Question, Persuade, Refer, Suicide Prevention Training. So those are two individuals that our instructors and able to train classes here in Lebanon County as needed. And that's really a great partnership. We're uh, pleased to be able to offer that to the community and to those two individuals who have willingly given their time. So throughout the year, those trainings will be offered on a quarterly basis. And then also, through Perform Care, we were able to 
develop and uh, they sponsored the purchase of wristbands for the community. So they do have a health and hope and healing on them. On the back, it includes a text number. So if someone is in crisis, they could text no, that number, um, as well as our local Lebanon County crisis number. So there's a lot of useful information on these. And if you're interested, I can uh, send those around as well. I will also say that um, as September approaches, September is um, something that we really like to develop um, all year long and, and work on events. So we have a lot of things happening for the month of uh, September and the uh, Suicide Prevention Month. Um, and this this was one of those one of those days. But we have several trainings. We do have the QPR Suicide Prevention Training coming up this month. There's also a training offered on mental health first aid training. We also have a speaker coming in, and that was a, a partnership through Wellspan. Um, that funded the uh, speaker coming in. His name is Kevin Hines. Kevin Hines is actually one uh, individual who, uh, very rare, actually jumped from the um, Golden Gate Bridge, and he's a survivor. So um, he's coming in from California, and uh, he'll be speaking on September 20th, so that's something, something here in the community. As well as the task force has developed a remembrance garden, um, through a partnership with the city here, the mayor has given us a little plot of land behind the nature barn at Stavers Dam Park. And uh, what we've done with that area is to create a garden um, with pavers. And those pavers include the names of individuals that the family members have shared their names and those who've been lost to suicide. So this will be um, a place where family members, loved ones will be able to go um, to really to look back, remember their lives, um, but also as they go through the grieving process, it will be a quiet place for them to, to really, um, really think about all of those things. So they've been working on that. that. There's a dedication ceremony for that coming up on September 21st at 3 o'clock. And then on September 29th, there will be a remembrance ceremony for individuals who have lost family members or loved ones to suicide. So that will be happening as well. All of those are listed on the flyer that's coming around. And then finally, I know it's been a lot, um, on September 10th is actual World Suicide Prevention Day. And um, on that day we ask that um, if you're able and you're home, if you could light a candle in your window and what that does is signify your support for suicide prevention as well as your support for those individuals in the community who have lost loved ones to suicide. Um, so we really want to ensure that they feel supported and know that through all of this they are not alone um, and we're here for them. So there are a number of things going on and we, again Perform Care has been a great partner, WellSpend has been a great partner, and Phil Haven certainly has been a great partner in terms of uh, uh, helping us put these things together and uh, and also developing a media campaign. So, uh, so there are a lot of things uh, that are going on and a lot of great partners we have in this community to address this issue. We appreciate all the various layers of uh, awareness that you folks uh, keep in front of the public. I mean that's part of the part of the answer is giving people a place to find help and, and so on. Uh, you mentioned the pavers. I'm curious, do the loved ones purchase those? Does your office purchase those? How do, who funds them? I'm so glad you asked that question because um, the community has been very generous in donating all of the, not only the time to this garden but then all of the material has been donated by sponsors around the community um, you know those Home Depot I, I could go on there's a whole list of um, companies and businesses that have sponsored um, all of all of these things so those were sponsored by a local uh, business here in the community and so the loved ones all of this is free to everyone in the community and um, will be uh, given back to the community for them um, to remember. So if you look at our website, you'll see a whole list of okay. those who have contributed. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Any questions, comments? Thank you. So appreciate, certainly appreciate the efforts and uh, open prey, as Kevin said, that we have a, a long, uh, 
quiet end of the year here. Yes, thank you. Whereas suicide dramatically affects the residents of Lebanon County, and whereas every effort must be made to prevent a high rate of suicide among our citizens, and whereas Lebanon County supports community partners in their work to enhance mental, well, mental wellness and recovery in our citizens, and whereas Lebanon County recognizes the efforts of the Lebanon County Suicide Prevention Task Force to prevent suicide by community-wide trainings and awareness efforts throughout the year and especially during this month of September. Now therefore, we, the Board of County Commissioners, do hereby proclaim that sep September is Suicide Prevention Month in Lebanon County. Make a motion that we adopt the proclamation. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt the proclamation in, in uh, recognition of uh, Suicide Prevention Month. Any questions? If not, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So ordered.